Today I just wanted to do a glitter gossip on some fall TV shows that I've been so obsessed with. The first one is Heart of Dixie with Rachel Bilson. I loved her on the OC and when I saw that she had a show coming out, I definitely wanted to try it, but it was kind of weird because I had so many other shows that I was into that I didn't want to start a new show. I just couldn't keep up with the ones I was trying to watch as is, but I completely fell in love with it. Basically it's about this New York big time doctor that moves down to Bluebell, Alabama, and has to like learn to be a people person. I'm from the Deep South. I was born and raised in Georgia. So I definitely know a lot of the personality. They do a really good job getting the point across of these different characters while still making it a little bit exaggerated for the TV, but I think that it's just a really cute show and I'm so into it. And I was really bummed that there wasn't one two Mondays ago. Um, I was like upset the whole week because I didn't have my Heart of Dixie fit. And my mom's really into it too because my mom can't watch half the shows I watch because she can't watch anything with the tiniest bit of violence. Like Vampire Diaries is too violent for her. So Heart of Dixie is perfect because it's more of a like dr people drama as opposed to like people dying and you know just crazier stuff happening. It's more real life so my mom likes it too. But second one of my top three is Vampire Diaries which you guys know it's been my favorite since it first came on the air, the season premiere of season one, I was hooked. The third one, which is actually my favorite one right now, is called The Secret Circle, and it's actually written by the same people that wrote The Vampire Diaries, but it's about witches instead of vampires. Even though there's witches in Vampire Diaries, The Secret Circle is all about witches. And I didn't think I was going to like it, just like Heart of Dixie. I didn't have very high expectations going into it, and the first 10 minutes of The Secret Circle, the first episode where you have the car crash and the fire and stuff, I was kind of like so over it already. I was just like, I don't get it. I'm not into this. I don't want to watch it. I turned it off. I watched it a week later and I'm completely hooked. It's like my favorite show right now. Those are my top three, but it goes Secret Circle, then Heart of Dixie, then Vampire Diaries right now. Other ones I'm watching, Terra Nova, which I really like. Terra Nova is actually kind of similar to Lost, but with dinosaurs. And I love dinosaurs. I'm such a little nerd when it comes to dinosaurs. I was in love with them growing up and I love them now. I love dinosaur movies and the idea of having a show with dinosaurs is addicting to me. I really like it. It's not really a girl show. It's definitely like the first three I mentioned are very girly shows. It's more one you could like watch with your boyfriend or watch with your brother or your dad. It's kind of a show both genders I think would like. That's another show that I try to keep up with if I have time to watch my three big ones because sometimes I don't even have time to watch those three in a week and everything else just gets put on the back burner and until I have a lazy Saturday where I can catch up on my shows. The next one that I'm still loving like six or seven seasons in is Desperate Housewives. I know that a lot of people used to be really into it and then kind of like stopped watching it over time and I stopped watching it for about a season and then got back into it. Still am really enjoying it along with Grey's Anatomy, which again, Desperate Housewives and Grey's Anatomy I started watching like six years ago around the same time. I watch Pan Am. Well, I've watched like two episodes of Pan Am. I like it. I just, it's not something that's like grabbed me yet. I'm not really, I haven't watched more than two episodes, so, but I don't dislike it. Um, I watched... I used to be really into Gossip Girl and 90210, which I know are both airing right now, and I haven't watched the season at all. I haven't even started them, which is so weird because I love those shows, but I think I'm just kind of over them in preference for some other shows, and then when I get really bored and I have like a long break, maybe over Christmas, I'll probably catch up on all of those, but for now, I just don't have time or the desire to really watch those shows. I really miss Pretty Little Liars. That's again one of my top shows. That would definitely be top four if it was airing right now, but it's not airing right now and I cannot wait for it to come back. I actually have the Pretty Little Liars Halloween special, which I haven't watched yet and I actually forgot about it until just right now I was thinking about it. So I need to watch that and I think it's coming back soon, right? Cause it stopped like mid season or something. Like it had like a mid-season hi hiatus, if I'm thinking correctly, if I'm not making this up. So I need to see when that comes back because I really like that show too. I'm going to be so sad when Secret Circle and Heart of Dixie go off the air for the season break because I really, really like them. Um, I also want to start watching Once Upon a Time, which is the fairy tale um, show on ABC that's by the same writers that did Lost, which I loved Lost. So anything that they're writing again, I definitely want to give a try. And anything with fairy tales, like come on. I love fairy tales, but 
actually my um, tripod is sitting on two fairy tale books right now because they're like big books and I can't I can't show you because my camera's on them and it would take me ages to get my camcorder set back up every single time I move my camcorder it's like such a big deal to get it fixed because my tripod is like a really bad quality tripod that's why my camera's always crooked that is why my wallpaper panels don't look like they're straight and why I always look slightly lopsided it's because of my tripod I need to get a new one for Christmas but I have talked a lot in this video. I haven't watched Once Upon a Time yet. And I know there's that other show, Grimm, which came out at the same time. It's so funny. They're both about like the same fairy tales, but I heard Once Upon a Time is better from someone who's seen both of them. So, and that someone's name is Blair. So I don't know why I said someone, like you guys don't know who it was, but um, yeah. So that was all. Those are my thoughts, my favorite shows, what I'm watching, what I'm keeping up with. And I would love to know if any of you guys have a show that I didn't mention that you're so obsessed with that you think I would love. I definitely would like for you to read a com write a comment below or leave a video response talking about your favorite TV shows. We can make this like a little favorite TV show tag maybe. I tag all of you guys. It's not a question tag but it's more just about tell me about your favorite shows and what you're liking and what you're not liking and what you miss and what you want to watch. Those are four questions. That's like a legit tag. Um, but yeah, so write a comment below if you want me to watch something, even though I don't really have time to watch anything new. But if someone, if a lot of people recommend the same thing, I will give it a try. And I will see you guys later. Bye.